Hello, I've got some more retro gameplay and this is the old classic of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And there is so much as some hard questions on this. <laughs> you know, it's the junior's version, but... You know, uh, you know, and I'm playing this, but, you know, I'm not using any... Doing this from Nights from Memory and I'm not, I know, I'm, you know, I'm not using any other um, device and, or anything to help me get the answer because that would be cheating. <laughs> so I'm doing this from knowledge. I'm not quite knowledgeable, but you know, I thought I'd give it a go. You know, I'm not, I don't do like big fun quiz shows or, I mean, on quiz games. I mean, I do like watching quiz shows, yeah. And there's some questions I do know the answers to, but there's quite a lot of them I don't. But anyway, it's just a bit of fun, you know. So, I'm on the first question for £100. Which of these is the place where you live? What's an ad jumper? I don't know. Ad shirt, ad sock, ad dress. <laughs> oh, funny. Uh, I think that would be C. Final answer? Uh, yes. Of course it is. You've got 100 Thanks. Mitch. <laughs> Here's question two, it's worth £200. And don't, don't just wish like in that Monopoly game that the, the money was real. <laughs> I always wished that when I was young, I'm like... Which is, I kept on the money thing, oh, I wish it was real. Alright, take your time, you've still got all three oh, lifelines. Yeah, yeah, shut up, yes. Phone a friend and ask the audience. Yeah, shut up, Chris. Which of these is a set of energetic exercises set to music? Aerobics, I think, isn't it? Are you confident? Yes, I think it's aerobics. It's right, you've got two hundred pounds. Hey, you know some questions on here. I actually get really like you know get ah. Now here's question number three for three hundred pounds. I mean, I've got autism, that's worse than James. So if I don't get a million, I don't get a million. But it's just it's just a bit of fun at the end of the day. Alright, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50 50. Phone a Which friend and ask the audience. Which of these is not a female relative? Daughter, aunt, uncle, mother. I think that would be uncle. Are you confident? Yes. Well done, you've got £300. Well, I'm rich. Right, question four of 15 coming up. You're doing fine. Take your time, have a look at this for £500. What are you doing if you are embracing someone? Alright, take your time, you've still got all three lifelines, you've still got 50 50, phone a friend and ask the audience. Kicking them, paying them money, turn them off, hugging them. Hugging them, I think, isn't it? Embracing? Like to make someone happy, so I think it's D. I hope so. Final answer? Yes. Correct, you've got 500 quid. Well done. I don't even know what the word embracing meant. You've still got all three lifelines left 50 50, phone a friend, and ask the audience. Right, just be careful. This is the last point at which you could go away with absolutely nothing. You are now 11 questions away from £1 million. This is worth £1,000. Here it comes. Pooch is an informal term for which animal? Dog. Just be aware, this is the last point at which you could go away with absolutely nothing. So take as long as you need. Dog, cat, hamster or rabbit? I think it would be probably a dog. Are you happy with that? No, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. I think it is. Let's just go for it. Well done, you just guaranteed yourself a thousand pounds. Yay, Mitch. A grand one thousand pennies.
Actually, if it was one piece, it'd be like. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> oh, well done. You got a thousand pounds. And that's guaranteed whatever happens now, you'll walk away with at least one thousand pounds. But have a look at this next question. You might as well play it. It's worth two thousand pounds. Which creatures shares its name with a vehicle able to travel on rough ground? Caterpillar, earwig, worm or moth? Vehicle. All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50, phone a friend and ask I you. think it's a moth because when I used to play on um, Driven to Destruction, which is my all-time like destruction, like destruction derby game, it used to be moth on there, so I think I'm going to choose moth. Are you absolutely sure? Yes. Well, you seem very confident, but I'm afraid it's the wrong answer. What? The answer is A. Caterpillar? Well, you've won yourself a thousand pounds, and that's certainly not to be sniffed at. A thousand pounds guaranteed. I'm really sorry you didn't make it further, but well done. You have done very well. Maybe you'll do even better next time you play who wants to be a millionaire? Maybe I should have took the lifelines. But I'm gonna have another go. See if I can beat it grand. That's fine. I did rubbish on that. Well, right, let's see if I can do better. Good luck. Now I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth one hundred pounds. Which of these is a type of spiky plant found in the desert regions? And uh, that'd be cactus. Well done, nice and easy, you've got 100 pounds. Have a look at this, it's worth 200 pounds. A nightmare is a nasty type of what? Spot? Is it mushroom? Dream? I suppose if you took too many pie mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> all right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50 50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. Uh, that would be dream. Okay, you're going for C. Are you happy? Yes. It's good for £200. Right, so far, so good. Take a look at this for 300 quid. Which of these creatures lives in the sea? Sloth. That's one of them really old animals, isn't it? All right, take your time. Went out still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50 50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. What's it? What's an impaler? Panda. No, I think that'd be a prawn. Are you happy with that? Yes. You've got 300 pounds. Right, you're 12 questions away from a million. This one is worth 500 pounds. Take your time, have a look at it. Lewis, Finn and Soul are characters in which TV show? As if, party of five. All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50 50. Uh, phone a friend. Break by your Holly Oaks. I haven't got a clue. I have to have lifeline. Um, that's the audience. Okay, right, using up your lifeline. Ask the audience. All vote now. Well, now, D gets the audience's vote as the most likely. Well, it's your choice. No, I didn't know so that. So it's up to you entirely. What do you think? I'll go for D, then. Are you happy with that? Well, you've got three right so far, nice and confident. But I'm afraid that's as far as you can go. It's the wrong answer. Oh. Audience needs fucking sacking. <laughs> am I supposed to know that? Oh, I am sorry. Oh, box you.
Try again. You know what? Okie dokie. I don't even get past buddy. Right, here we go. You're 15 questions away from one million pounds. And if you're ready to play, have a look at this for 100 pounds. What type of weapon is traditionally fired from my bow? That'll be ammo. Of course it is. You've got 100 feet. Take a look at this for 200 pounds. In Peyton, which two colours are mixed together to make grey? Alright, okay, you're going for C. Are you happy? Yeah. It's correct, you've got 200 quid. Now, here's question number three for 300 pounds. Let's see if we can get over a grand. Which of these is a canvas and metal item you can jump up and down on? Alright, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50 50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. Oh, I think that'll be trampoline. Okay, you're going for C. Are you happy? Yes. That's trampoline. You've got 300 pounds. Right, question four of 15 coming up. You're doing fine. Take your time. Have a look at this for 500 pounds. Kindling is used to make what? All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. Is it file log cabin? Kindling? I don't know how that mean. I'm not very knowledgeable, I don't know what kindling means. I think it's, is it log fire? Is it log cabin or fire? I don't really trust the audience at the moment. <laughs> okay, you want to go 50 50, use your lifeline computer, take away two wrong answers, please, leaving the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. So, what do you think? Is it B or D? I love having rent, so it's got to be fire. You don't have to play this if you don't want to. Is that your final answer? Yes, I'll give it a go. That's the right answer for £500. Yes. You've still got two lifelines. Phone a friend and ask the audience. Now, the next question guarantees you £1,000 if you give me a correct answer. Have a look at this. Which member of the royal family celebrated her 100th birthday in 2000? Just be aware, this is the last point at which you could go away with absolutely nothing. So take as long as you need. Oh, who was it? See, I'm not very good at quizzes. I don't know why I bought the game. <laughs> it's been out since like years, and it's like a game show I used to watch on, the, on TV, and I got mostly questions right at the start, and then it started getting tricky, and I'm like, oh, I can't answer them. Oh, which one was it? I'm gonna have to ask the audience. Okay, right. I don't really trust them, but... Ask the audience. All vote. Yes, not much difference of opinion there. But you'll say... No, but I'm going to go for it anyway. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but you're wrong. It's the wrong answer. 
it's Dean. Oh, so your answer was right then. 